Hey guys, this is the real see of this first, and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm just a little bit excited about this video. Okay, calm down. Talk slowly. Okay, as you can tell, I am a little bit excited about this video today. Um, this of franchise or in an anime that's very much dear and near to my heart. I said that wrong. I'm so excited! <laughs> okay, so I did this as part of the Twitter trending hashtag Sailor Moon Mijo, where you essentially take a screenshot or a screen cap from the anime and you redraw it in your own style. Now, for some reason, this particular screen cap was trending and everyone was redrawing it. I don't know why, I don't know why it started. I know that this screen cap thing has been going on for years now, but I don't know why Sailor Moon suddenly trended, but it was Sailor Moon. So I had to jump in and do it. And I did it. <laughs> so the thing is, I'm pretty sure you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, that I don't really manage to complete drawings in 3 hours anymore. I used to be able to do that back in high school and college, but nowadays I don't, mainly because I haven't been doing digital art for quite some time. It's been a while since I did digital art consistently, and number two, I do a lot more techniques now, I'm a lot more careful with my drawings now, so three bars is not a lot. It's usually just sketching and then maybe some line art for me. But to be able to finish something in three hours is a feat. And of course, it involves a lot of sacrifices, but it's a feat for me nowadays. And, you know, Sailor Moon just ignited this fire in my soul that I felt like I needed to finish it within the day. And I only had three hours left before I went to bed. So I blazed through it, and I finished it, and this is the result. So what are the things that I sadly had to sacrifice? Number one, line art quality. <laughs> so as you can tell, my line weight is not great right now. It's all over the place. I don't do any thickening. I'm using a really heavy brush for it. Nowadays I've been trying to use thinner line weights for my line art drawings. And I tried to use the thicker line weights to accentuate stuff. But for this drawing, I threw that out of the window because I was in a rush. And I knew that my art stamina is typically only around 3 to 4 hours. If I go beyond that, my shoulder would kill me, which, to be honest, after this drawing, it hurt quite a bit. I had to slap on a salon pass on my shoulder, but no regrets. But I had to throw that out of the window, let it be. Number two, I had to sacrifice. A little bit of accuracy, mainly because I really like the pose to end it up with. So the pose is supposed to be in the screen cap, as you can see on the left corner when I zoom out. He said it's supposed to be looking down on Sailor Moon, and she's looking up, and you see her shoulders a little bit, and her back a little bit. So I was at first trying to go for the pose, but when I was doing the sketching, I really ended up liking this pose that I drew her in. So it's not an accurate screen cap redraw, which I guess means I failed the challenge, but I kind of like where it ended up, so eh. <laughs> Number three, I had to also give up on any form of super decent lighting and shading because number that's I I've always been kind of weak with coloring. Line art has always been kind of a bit of my forte or it's something that I enjoyed the most in the process. So coloring won't be the best. <laughs> I mean, it turned out really decent though. I guess because of the techniques I've been using recently, they've been slowly improving my general basic process. So it turned out pretty nice. Or, I mean, it's decent. It's good. It's not shit. But it wasn't the best either. <laughs> Yeah, but it's Sailor Moon and I had to do it, and it's literally my childhood, so I had to. So anyone my age, I guess you would 
wouldn't really know what my age is. I mean, I'm 26. <laughs> Anyone my age would either be like super duper into Sailor Moon, or at least would have heard about it to some degree. Like, it's almost impossible for me to be at this age and not have known about Sailor Moon, at least in my country. Now, this could be different for countries, but in my country, Sailor Moon was the thing. And I remember, I think I watched the English version? I'm pretty sure it's a Tagalog, a Filipino dub of this, but I don't think I watched the Filipino dub. I'm pretty sure I watched the English version of this. I think. Yeah, anyway. I watched the English version of this when I was young. It was my thing the entire time I was younger. Even now, to be honest, I, recon I rekindled my love for it again. And yeah, I guess I'll just tell you stories of what, how deep I was in this. So I remember having the dolls. I remember having a doll of Mercury since she was my favorite favorite inner inner system scout. I. I'm pretty sure I had Sailor Moon as well. I distinctly remember not having Sailor Venus because my parents were like, well, she kind of looks like Sailor Moon anyway, so it's not worth it to buy it. And me being the kid that I am, and as a pretty understanding kid, I guess, I said, okay, makes sense. <laughs> so I never had Sailor Venus. Um, I think I had Mars and Jupiter as well. And I'm pretty sure I didn't have any of the outer system guardians. Uh, it's, it was either because I stopped buying the dolls at that point, or they might not have released the dolls of the outer guardians. So I had all of the inner guardians except Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Venus. I even had the cat figurines. So yeah, I was very deep into this. And I also had like a Sailor Moon lunchbox, it was pink. Well, it's actually just a pink lunchbox with a Sailor Moon graphic sticker put on top of it. <laughs> but it was my thing. I loved it so, so much. And I kept it for so long. I think I threw it out only in middle school already. And that was because of dog chewed in it. If the dog didn't chew in it, I would probably still have it. I'll be, I'll be real. I was that deep into Sailor Moon. And I mean... Pretty much any kid, I guess, at my age at that time, was very deep into Sailor Moon. So the classics here in the Philippines were Sailor Moon, Cardcaptor Sakura, Yu Yu Hakusho, Hunter x Hunter, um, Toshiki Yugi, I'm forgetting something, Dragon Ball, definitely, um, Ranma Half, yeah, those. Those were like the... Pretty much everyone knows about it. Anime, uh, Ray Knight, uh, Ray Knight wasn't that super popular, I think, or maybe I just didn't watch it. But those animes were the thing. And for any girl my age, or at least me and my friends, and everyone I've known up to this point, <laughs> Sailor Moon was their jam. And I remember my favorite Sailor Scout was actually Mercury and Uranus. And a little bit of Jupiter. So Mercury because she had short and Uranus because they had short hair. And ever since I was young, I've always had like shortish hair. And it was nice being able to see a character pull it off. And it's, it looked good on them. And Mercury I loved because she was like a techie girl. She was book smart. She liked reading books. She was she had technology with her all the time. So I really I identified with her in a way in terms of hobbies. Uranus because like she was the cool girl crush. I'm a cool girl type of thing. Uh, in in a boyish type of thing and then eventually when you grew up you <laughs> realize that she was lesbian but you know that was cool. I, I, when I grew up I didn't care that she was lesbian at all. It made sense actually but she was cool, she was driving like a sports car, like, I remember this, when I was younger, it's like, God, I want to be her. And then I really liked Jupiter because she, she was sweet, she was strong, and I guess personality-wise, I'm kind of closer to Jupiter 
that extroverted fashion. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I was really into Sailor Moon, and um, I'm forgetting what I'm supposed to say. Right, I guess if you watch Sailor Moon, if you were like ever old enough to watch Sailor Moon, like let me know who your favorite Sailor Scout was. I remember liking Pluto quite a bit, even though she, well, bowed out eventually. <laughs> and she came back, but she bowed out. Um, yeah, let me know who your favorite Sailor Scout was. I remember also reading the manga at some point, um, like a couple of years back. I just blazed through the manga just to see what happened in the end. Um, I didn't watch, or I watched the remake anime, but I didn't finish it. I was a little bit crushed by the animation. I didn't like it too much, sadly. I heard it gets a little better at the end, but I didn't bother. So, <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys liked that video. If you do, consider liking it. Consider subscribing to the channel as well for more of this kind of stuff. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or even part, and I'll see you around. Man, I was super excited for this video, jeez.